The new 5G mobile core network has been mainly driven by the two networking concepts, software-defined networking SDN and network functions virtualization NFV. Where SDN with the split of the control and data plane offers a consolidated network control and also offers a programmable open network API for the configuration which of course contributes to a faster protocol development. While NFV tackles the problem of hardware dependency, where on cloud computing it offers uh, virtual network functions, which offers an accelerated elastic deployment and also a flexible and a scalable resource assignment. So our main contributions of our work are trying to answer the following questions. Now moving from LTE to 5G, how should operators design the new 5G core networks based on SDN and NFV? And what are the, the cost factors involved and how to optimize the overall network design? And these questions have been addressed in our paper towards a cost optimal design for a 5G mobile core network based on SDN and NFV, which was published in IEEE Transactions on Network and Service Management. So first, let's make a comparison between an NFV and an SDN mobile core network design. So NFV would, would require that the network functions would be as virtual network functions deployed on a mobile cloud uh, platform and transport switches would be used to transport the control plane and data plane from the network from the field to the cloud. From a performance perspective, of course, the data latency and the control latency are highly impacted by the location of the data center and the cloud. And from a cost perspective, of course, there would be an extra cost in order to uh, have the data center resources capable of handling the data plane, while of course, there would be also extra cost of transporting the data from the network to the cloud. With SDN, the network would be split into control plane and data plane, where the control plane functions would be deployed in the cloud pl platform, while the data plane would be implemented by SDN switches. And here the plus notion is noting to the extra functions that a mobile core network has to implement, for example, charging or tunneling capabilities. And then the network would be extended by an extra SDN control plane. Again, from a performance uh, perspective, now we can see that the data has, follows a direct path through the switches, while the control is extended by the SDN control plane, of course. And from a cost perspective, now the data center resources are not as high as, as the NFV design since they only have to handle the control, not the, the, the data um, uh, plane computational power. While from a network load or network traffic cost perspective, there is an extra interface needed for the SDN control traffic, which also imposes some cost. And now looking at the related work, so there has been a lot of work from an architecture and optimization point of view that handles each of the concepts individually. So there is a lot of uh, work in, in the area of SDM based mobile core network architectures and NFV also architectures, while there is a lot of work in SDM control of placement problems or NFV function chain, uh, chaining problems. And what we wanted to do in this work is actually exploit the advantage of both SDN and NFV and also develop a joint SDN and NFV optimization model which finds the optimal joint design using both SDN and NFV concepts. And hence we introduced the function placement problem, which is mainly a joint optimization of the SDN controller placement problem and at the same time optimizing the NFV function chaining problem. We have formulated those as mixed interlinear programs and we have tackled then different objectives mainly on the observations in the network designs. So first we start with the optimal network load where, where we consider the cost of the data plane network as well as the control plane and we also consider the optimal data center resource cost which consider also data and control plane CPUs with the distribution of the CPUs on the servers as well as achieving server load balancing for all data centers. So let's take an example of how the function placement problem works. Now looking at this mobile core network topology example in the US, we can see the distribution of the S gateways in green and the P gateways in blue. So the problem needs the following input parameters. So first of course are the data and control plane network flows, then the data and control plane latency requirements, and then finally then the number of data centers involved in the design. And as an output, the function placement problem gives us then the optimal cloud locations, also then the parts of the network that need to adopt SDN and the other parts that follow NFV with the placement of the SDN controllers and the virtual network functions. It also gives us then the data and control plane mapping, while of course at the end it gives us then the optimal design cost depending of course on the target objectives that we used. Now if you are interested in finding more information, please uh, read then our paper in the IEEE Transactions on Network and Service Management. Thank you very much.